her second birthday. I was getting her ready to take her to Chuck E. Cheese because I had planned a little something for the family to get together for her birthday. And I uh, was getting her ready. I was putting her long sleeve. And when I put it over her, I wanted to straighten out the sleeves. And it was on her right elbow. I tried to straighten her arm and she started screaming. So I was like, what's wrong? And then she, she wouldn't let me touch her arm. She wouldn't let me straighten it. And I was like, well, maybe she slept on it wrong. It's just bugging her. And um, so I changed her. I didn't think much of it until we were actually at Chuck E. Cheese seeing her walk around with her arm like this. It's like, what's going on with her? I didn't, and I, I would still try to get her at Chuck E. Cheese and straighten it, and she wouldn't let me. So then I got kind of worried. The next day we went to the uh, emergency, and they did x-rays. They told me they didn't see much, but that maybe it could be a hairline fracture. And um, with the doctors we had, it was just sending us to a bunch of places for nine months and they didn't know what it was. Finally, my husband had got better insurance. Like nine months later, I took her to the doctor. They um, did some blood tests and then within a week, because of the labs, I guess, they were able to see that what it was. And they told us that she had juvenile arthritis and uh, we were gonna start on all these medications. And she was two when they diagnosed her. I didn't even know there was juvenile arthritis. Like it was, it, it was hurting like a lot, so I couldn't move my arm. It had it could stay like this. So my mom had to do everything for me. I had to give her shots uh, once a week, and then she would have to take pills, and then with, um, I guess, probably about every two months, she'd have to go get all these uh, labs taken, tubes of blood. She just was not liking any of that. She didn't, she didn't understand why. She had to go to so many doctor's appointments. Why did she have to get so many shots? She'd get a lot of nosebleeds, and so we just started praying on it. Chuck kept it in his prayers and then when she was four well, we took her to the doctor she had another injection done then after that we took her for a checkup in uh, January of 2015 and her arm was just like I mean before that because of the injections it would go back to its regular range but if I didn't give it to her it would um, stiffen up again but then in January, yeah, 2015, we went. It was fine. They said her labs didn't show any um, active arthritis. So I was, I was happy, but I was like, okay, what if this is just for now? Let's see what happens. Ever since then, she hasn't had any medication. She hasn't showed any active arthritis. It went away because I prayed to God that it went away and I would never have it again because it was hard having arthritis. That was something that is uh, ongoing. It's, there was no cure for it. So for it to go away and she's not taking any medications, she's just like any other kid is, uh, I know that had to, that had to be God because um, I don't know any other kids with her sickness that that has happened to and I've met parents because of the Arthritis Foundation and even a lady that works at the Arthritis Foundation that I just talked to, she's worked with them for over 20 years. She uh, contacted me just to see how Catherine was doing and I told her how everything was and she even, like, the first words out of her mouth was, that's a miracle. I just want my kids to have a happy and healthy life and when I first thought that that was going to be her life with medications and pills and possibly, you know, um, I don't know, I guess wheelchairs and just pain, I, I, it scared me, but now I just thank God every day for my blessings and I thank God that he took that away from her because I don't know how I would, would have handled it getting any worse. Do you think that there's any trick to praying or like a way of praying that God responds to more? What do you think? If there's something wrong and you tell him and that you tell him what you, what, like how much you love him and how much you trust in him and you know he could do it. But I prayed with my mom and my dad and worked even better. So I think it's 
because we prayed together and that's what God wants. 